This tutorial will show you how to install WhatsApp onto your iPad. This will work for all generations of the iPad, including the iPad, the iPad Mini, and the iPad Air. Please note before we begin that you will need an iPhone in order to complete the installation. Compatible iPhones are the 4, the 4S, the 5, 5C, and the 5S. I'm using the tutorial found at iPadWhatsApp.com and all the installation files is included on the site. So let's begin. You'll need to install iPhone Box onto your computer. So I'll save the installation file onto my desktop. And you'll also need a WhatsApp installation file. I'll also save this file onto my desktop. Okay, now you'll need your iPhone. I'm using the iPhone 5. I already have WhatsApp installed onto the device, so I'll need to remove it. We need a clean install of WhatsApp. So I'll go back to the App Store and download WhatsApp again. While that's downloading, let's install iFunbox. So here's the iFunbox installation file. Just drag that. Okay, we'll go back to our iPhone and open the WhatsApp app. Now you'll need to input the account that you want to use on the iPad. I'll enter that real quick. They'll send a text to the phone number. You need to verify the text. Okay, so I have I uh, WhatsApp running on my iPhone. So now I'm gonna plug in my iPhone 5 onto into my computer. And now open up iPhone box. You'll notice that you'll get this error when you open it up. And that's because it's a unverified uh, file. I'll show you how to get around this. So go to the search on the upper right corner and just type in iPhone box. Show in Finder. Right click that and just click open. Okay. So this is what iPhone box looks like. My iPhone 5 is connected. And we're just going to go to users application go into WhatsApp and we just need two folders we're gonna need the documents and the library folder and we're just gonna drag that to our desktop okay now we could disconnect our iPhone and now I'm gonna connect my iPad We're going to open up iPhone box again.
and go to install app and we're gonna open up the WhatsApp installation file that we downloaded from the website. And here's our progress bar. This will install WhatsApp onto your onto the iPad. I now have WhatsApp on my device and uh, we still have a few more steps for, before we can use uh, WhatsApp. I'll show you what happens if you open it too early. You'll get the error message, sorry your device is currently not supported. So I'll show you how to fix that. Okay, go to user applications, go to WhatsApp, and here's the two folders that we removed from the iPhone. We're just going to delete the two folders. Right now we're on our iPad. Right click and hit delete. Okay, and you'll notice the folder actually doesn't disappear. So we're going to have to manually delete everything inside the folders. That one we can't get rid of. Let's see if we can get rid of this. Can't get rid of that. So we're just going to manual, manually delete everything we can in the folders. We clear the documents folder. So now we're going to go to our desktop, open the documents folder. There's three files in here. Let's go into the documents folder in the iPhone box. And we're going to drag and drop the three files into the folder. And this is uh, dropping the folders into your iPad. All right, we're going to go back. And now we're going to do the same for the library folder. All right, let's go in the cache folder. Just drag and drop that. Go back. We're going to go back here. Let's move this file in the logs folder. And now we just have to do the preference folder. and just drag and drop that alright so we manually added all the fo uh, files and folders into our whatsapp app for our ipad now our whatsapp app should work so let's open whatsapp and there you go WhatsApp is now working on your iPad. Thank you for watching.